Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the cutting edge world of artificial intelligence and computing. As NVIDIA unveils the Blackwell B200 GPU, touted as the world's most powerful chip for artificial intelligence. Join us as we explore the revolutionary capabilities of this groundbreaking technology and its potential impact on various industries. NVIDIA's indispensable H100 AI chip propelled it into the realm of multi-trillion dollar valuation, potentially surpassing giants like Alphabet and Amazon. Competitors have scrambled to keep pace, but NVIDIA might be poised to further solidify its dominance with the introduction of the cutting-edge Blackwell B200 GPU and the formidable GB200 Superchip. NVIDIA's unveiling of the Blackwell B200 GPU marks a significant milestone in the ever-evolving landscape of artificial intelligence hardware. This is not a concert. You have arrived at a developer's conference. There will be a lot of science described. Algorithms, computer architecture, mathematics. Blackwell is not a chip. Blackwell is the name of a platform. Uh, people think we make GPUs, and, and we do, but GPUs don't look the way they used to. This is Hopper. Hopper changed the world. This is Blackwell. With claims of being the world's most powerful chip for AI, the Blackwell B200 represents a culmination of cutting-edge technological advancements and relentless innovation. NVIDIA claims that their latest B200 GPU can deliver a staggering performance of up to 20 petaflops of FP4 horsepower, harnessing the power of 208 billion transistors. Additionally, NVIDIA introduces the GB200, a configuration compromising of two B200 GPUs. According to NVIDIA, this setup can slash costs and energy consumption by up to 25 times compared to the H100. However, there remains uncertainty regarding the actual cost. With NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Wong hitting at a price range of $30,000 to $40,000 per GPU. According to NVIDIA, training a model with 1.8 trillion parameters used to require 8,000 Hopper GPUs and consume 15 megawatts of power. However, Jensen now claims that the same task can be accomplished with just 2,000 Blackwell GPUs, consuming only 4 megawatts of power. In terms of performance benchmarks, NVIDIA reports that their GB200 with 175 billion parameters boasts roughly seven times the performance of their previous H100. Additionally, NVIDIA asserts that it provides four times faster training speed compared to previous models. 208 billion transistors, and so, so you could see, you, it, it, I can see, there, there's a small line between two dies. This is the first time two dies have abutted like this together in such a way that the two, chip, the two dies think it's one chip. There's 10 terabytes of data between it, 10 terabytes per second so that these two, these two sides of the Blackwell chip have no clue which side they're on. There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. And it goes into two types of systems. The first one is form-fit function compatible to Hopper. And so you slide on Hopper and you push in Blackwell. That's the reason why one of the challenges of ramping is going to be so efficient. There are installations of hoppers all over the world, and they could be, they could be you know, the same infrastructure, same design, the power, the electricity, the thermals, the software, identical, push it right back. And so this is a hopper version for the current HGX configuration. And this is what the, other, the second hopper looks like this. Now, this is a prototype board. This is a fully functioning board, and I'll, I'll just be careful here. This right here is, I don't know, $10 billion. <laughs> the second one's five. It gets cheaper after that, so any customers in the audience, it's okay. The Gray CPU has a super fast chip-to-chip -chip link. What's amazing is this computer is the first of its kind 
where this much computation, first of all, fits into this small of a place. Second, it's memory coherent. They feel like they're just one big happy family working on one application together. We created a processor for the generative AI era. And one of the most important parts of it is content token generation. We call it, this format is FP4. NVIDIA anticipates significant uptake of these GPUs by companies. And to facilitate this, it's bundling them in larger configurations like the GB200 NVL72. This system integrates 36 CPUs and 72 GPUs within a single liquid cooled rack, delivering a combined AI training performance of 720 petaflops. Inside, it accommodates nearly two miles of cables, compromising 5,000 individual cables. NVIDIA's advancements in GPU technology mark a significant leap in AI computational capabilities. Focusing on efficiency and scalability, the introduction of a system equipped with multiple GPUs promises enhanced AI computing power designed to meet the demands of various applications with rapid data processing and reduced latency. This innovation not only offers substantial performance improvements, but also emphasizes energy efficiency and scalability, facilitating the expansion of AI infrastructure. NVIDIA's efforts aim to propel AI research and development, signifying a pivotal progression in the field of computational intelligence. Thanks for watching Current Circuits. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and give us a like. See you all in the next video.